Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Cook the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am excited to share with you our newest Avon launch with our lip product. In campaign 19, Avon is launching the new soft matte liquid lip, and I've been looking at some of the reviews on it, and it ab sounds absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't actually tried out this product it's myself yet, but look at, it comes in I think eight different shades. And what I did was I ordered three of them to swatch for you. Kind of like a lighter color, a medium color, and then a nice and dark color. Not quite sure how this one's gonna look on me, but that's okay, we're going to give it a shot and give it a go anyhow. I haven't tried these at all yet, so it's going to be like a first impression, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open all three of them up for you, do a swatch down my arm for you, and then after that I'm going to pick one, try it, and I'm going to tell you what I think about this product. I'm actually not a fan of the matte look. Just being getting it out there, being completely honest. However, I can always mix it, can always add a gloss, or maybe, 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 it'll be just one of those things that will suddenly grow on me. Meh, you never know. So to open these ones up, it's simple. All you have to do is, I'm gonna assume, because it's, it has like the clear zipper seal here, just take it and you're going to, oops, just there we go, twist it and see, the whole thing will come off and then it becomes easy to peel. That way you don't have to keep picking at it. Works the same for our lip glosses. I think it still works the same for our glimmer sticks, right? So you don't have to break a nail trying to open up your beauty products here. This is actually a really pretty color. I think out of the three, this might be one of my favorite, favorite shades that I ordered. This one here is called Devoted. It looks so nice. Oh, this one's cool though. You know what? Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, it's actually a bit of a purple. This is the resilient one. The final one is persistent. Avon is stating that it's long lasting, it's nourishing, it's formulated with poppy seed oil and vitamin E. So it's paraben, sulfate, and phthalate free. And it's supposed to go on your lips being super pigmented and last for quite some time. They say that some matte lip, lip products will feel dry on your lips, but this one is nourishing. I tried to exfoliate my lips. I was really sick last, was it last week? About a week, week and a half ago. And every time I get sick, my lips, they just blister up and dry up. It's kind of really gross. It might not go on smoothly as I was like, but it's, I've been trying to exfoliate. Just, it takes a bit of time, really. It just takes a little bit of time. It's supposed to have a weightless, soft touch feel and they use premium micronized pigments to achieve an unparalleled high impact super saturated colors i don't know if that made any sense to me whatsoever anyways it's supposed to be nourishing it has poppy seed oil and vitamin e oil which are both good things paraben sulfate and phthalate free which is also great uh weightless and long lasting so it sounds really great so let's try it out okay i want to go from the lighter one here so once again this one is the devoted one here let's try it i wonder what kind of application applicator is it it's going to be a brush it's going to be a doe foot the suspense is killing me dun 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 and it is a oh it's a doe foot is that even the right term for it? i call it a doe foot i think it's the right term oh has a really interesting scent Ginevra has a play date if you hear kids in the background it's my daughter and her best friend. I don't know what it smells like, but it's it's interesting. Ooh, more facts. This is made in Italy. That's cool, just like our Love Mascara. I guess we're getting more products made in Italy now. That's exciting. Here we go. Ooh, oh, it's very velvety. Ah, very nice, okay. So this is like a rosy color, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's actually a little bit more, looks a little bit more red than I thought it would. Okay, so that's devoted. Scent is like, it almost, it's like a sweet, slightly floral, citrusy scent. But mind you, I'm not always 100% accurate with my scents. I just know whether or not I like it or I don't like it. And this one I like. I wonder if they all smell the same. Now I'm excited. Yeah, they all smell the same. Okay, this one is the persistent one. Ooh, ooh, substantially darker. Wow. And finally, last but not least, this is the resilient one, which is quite dark. 
darker than I thought it would be, but from like the lighting, it looks really pretty. It's like very purple. I wonder how it's gonna turn out on my lips. Oh my gosh, it's almost black. It's like, it's a great color for Halloween, I think, for me. I know, I know there's some people who absolutely rock this. I don't know if I'm one of them. And like the great thing about Avon is that we have an excellent exchange policy. So if you buy a lipstick, you try it, you don't like it, you can exchange it even after you open up and try it. So if I don't end up liking this one, I'll probably just exchange it. All right, so here we go. All right, which one should I try? Maybe I could try all three eventually. I'm going to first try on the devoted one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I love it goes a long way actually, guys. What do you think? It is very soft. It feels like a nice thin layer of velvet on my lips. It's not bad actually for a matte. It's quite nice. It's not sticky at all because I mean it's, it's a matte finish. Very different look for me because like I say, I normally do like a gloss look or at least a satin finish. This is pure matte finish. Let's see how transferable this is. Okay, it doesn't say that it's it's non-transferable, so it's not going to be like a two-in-one lip tattoo that I demoed for you last time, so I'm assuming that this will be transferable. Actually, it's not that bad. You can barely see anything. Wow. So I let it, I did let it dry for a couple of, probably like two minutes or so. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it does come off a little bit, but It does stay on quite well too. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. Okay, it's stayed on better than I thought it would. Um, as for the color, I guess I could always try a second layer of it. So this is one layer. I'm gonna try a second layer to see what I think. Okay, I'm just gonna do my bottom a second layer. What do you think? Do you think it makes a difference? Comment down below what you think. I don't think it makes too much of a difference if putting on a second layer or a first layer, maybe just a little bit. Yeah, it's not a huge difference. So, I mean, I think one coat is actually quite, quite good already. Sounds weird, but it's almost as if someone put a nice soft layer of cornstarch on my lips. <laughs> like that's what it feels like. It's not just that really fine powdery feel, but it doesn't feel dry. To me, it's not moisturizing as if I would do a nourishing lipstick or a, um, like the super nourishing lipsticks or like a, a gloss. But I don't feel like it's sucking the, 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 the moisture right on my lips, which is good. So I'm gonna try to wipe it off with just plain tissue. Let's see if that works. It stays on. <laughs> it, it kind of, uh, but it definitely, I guess that's the micropigmentation or micropigments that they're talking about. All right, let's throw on a little bit of micellar water. Micellar water takes everything off. Absolutely everything. Look how much is coming off. So next one, let's try the persistent one, which is this one in the middle here. <laughs> oh, it is so dark. I like this one a lot. I thought it would be too dark, but I love it. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Like I really love this one. I love this color. It is so sexy. It is so sensual. I love it. So this is the second one here. I really like this one. I don't even mind this as a matte look. That says a lot for me. I really like this one. It is so sophisticated. I feel like I could do like a whole period look with this with like 1920s or like, yeah, like the 1920s look. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I really, really love this one. Okay, I can go on like for a year about how much I really like this color. Wow. Well, this one's definitely a keeper. Let's try the last one. This I'm a little bit nervous about. I think this one I definitely will find a little, a beat on the dark side, but that's okay. I'm taking you to the dark side. What, what movie is that from? Is it Star Wars? I don't know, but it's the dark side. Ooh. Oh my, Jessie and her pregnancy period. Okay, here we go. Ready? So this is the resilient one. I really like how soft this is though. Like even the applicator feels super soft. I also did it really crooked. 
because I don't have the steadiest hand, I feel like glosses are a lot more forgiving than a bold matte lip look. Yeah, I just want to lay that. Maybe I could do some lip art with this. And here it is, Resilient. Which one do you guys like out of the three? Something that I could do is I could take a gloss, like the minted apple one, and put it over top. Ooh. Okay, I like that a little bit more already, but wow, does it ever come off. Um, yeah, it's, but it makes a huge difference. I like it a lot more already. So it probably wouldn't be a look that I would wear on a daily basis. To me, I like it a little bit better than when I just had it plain. It's just because it's not overly my style. But it's still, it's still okay. Oh, the gloss really helps take it off though. Let's just do one for fun. Let's do the red that I love. And then let's do some polka dots. <laughs> well, that's fun. What do you guys think? Yay, nay. Just make sure you don't smudge your lips together or else it'll be like, so polka dots, I'm going to have just smeared lips. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me while I swatched three out of eight of our Mattitude Soft Matte Liquid Lip Colors. They are four milliliters each and they are regularly $15. You can check out what all the different shades are and whatever promotions that we have on our e-store link, which is my e-store link is linked down below. If you have an Avon representative, make sure you do contact your local Avon representative. Or if you'd be interested in becoming an Avon representative so that you can get a hold of products like this and all of our product launches, early plus make additional income or save money on your own personal orders make sure you do click my uh, my e-store link down below if you enjoy videos like these guys with swatches and new product launches make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below which one of these you think that i rocked the best or if you like the little polka dot look here that i'm doing right now um <laughs> If you're new to my channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos up every single week and you never want to miss one of those. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You know what? It does dry. The polka dots dried. They actually dry. So, okay, see them? I have to go out in a few minutes. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be a conversation starter. What do you think?